That's not how you talk to somebody. Goddamn no goods. Don't email me anymore. Send. Ah, yes. I'm free of responsibilities and obligations. Oh, hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be putting together what is called a rear clamshell plug. And I'm going to show you guys the process. Um, it's, going to, it's going to be similar to my other videos where I've put together plugs. But this time, it's going to be a little bit different than the ones that I have put together before. This time, I strategically made it so that it doesn't need any sort of framing. It's just one plug. It stands, it sits on the floor, it'll be level, and it's going to be strong, rigid, and it's going to be accurate. I'm also going to take you to the 3D model and show you guys my strategy on how I spliced it so that I can machine it on the 3-axis CNC machine. Yeah, it's a 3-axis. And uh, you, sometimes you got to make do with what you have. And how do you make do? You use, you use, three axis works fine. It works fine. If you're trying to get things done, if you're trying to get things made, three axes are fine, okay? But uh, actually, sometime in the future, near future, I'm going to convert that machine back there to a five axis. Uh, I'm dropping the table down of maybe 18 inches. I'm going to lengthen the Z axis, and then I'm going to add a fourth and fifth axis head on it. I have the software already. I have the cam software so all that's necessary is to uh, modify the CNC table and add on the fourth and fifth axis head. And I think that's going to be brilliant. Okay so um, let's go into the computer. We're going to look at uh, the model on my laptop um, and we're going to see how I sliced it and diced it. Let's go. Let's see this. Okay, so let's start dividing the plug in layers that we can machine. Okay, so where I usually start um, in terms of the rear end is uh, I like to start with cutting the rear end off of the rear end. Um, so the rear end is like I'm talking about this area right here and is usually the most problematic because it's long, it extends out, and it also uh, has the craziest geometry ever, you know. So my machine cuts at a 6 inch depth or a 6 inch Z height. And so with that, I can cut off 6 inch layers of the plug. Um, but with the rear end, I only want to cut so much of it. Because if I get too far this way, that I won't be able to reach in where the wheel well is. If you see where this wheel well is, I need to machine it from the side, okay? But if I'm machining this face from this end, and that router bit is going towards this end, it won't be able to reach into this area. So let's go ahead and take that rear bulk that we split, and we can move it just away so we can get a better idea of where what it is okay what we can further do is we can break it down even more and have uh, five inch layers we're just going to draw a line five inches in to the left bring it down and then we're going to use this line to split it I already have this model split so we just split that okay and then we could do it again and we have our rear bulk in three layers. Okay. Now let's take off uh, the top part. Okay. All right. So let's start splitting parts again. From the top, we'll go down 5.9. And that's our first split. Okay. Move that out the way. Okay, and then we do the same thing. I already split these. That's another layer that we're going to split. So that's so far we have one, two, three, four, five parts that we split. These are going to be considered sub assemblies. This is these two parts are going to be sub assemblies. We'll make sure we glue them together first. And we'll glue this rear piece together first, and then we'll assemble the whole rear. 
what you're going to see next is the core of the plug and the core is where uh, it's going to give uh, the plug some rigidity and accuracy as we glue everything together all right let me hide the top assembly I'm going to hide the rear assembly this is what we have left and if we go from a top view we can start cutting off layers from the side right top view if we do a little bit of that we could go like 5.9 inches again and uh, that's going to give us our layer from the outside okay and we're going to do that on the other side as well we'll cut that layer off we're going to turn them off and now what we have is our core and this is what all those parts are going to glue onto our core consists of four layers or four parts I mean one part two part three part and four part let me turn on all of these again so you can see all the parts that go into it so now that you guys seen how I splice this up let me show you some parts you guys want to see some parts right let's look at the top assembly of the plug we have this part and here's what it looks like after it has been machined and then the bottom part let me go show you guys the bottom part it's the largest piece that we have so it look like that right does that look like that does it look like that does that look like that it sure does all right so you've seen how i sliced it as a 3d model and now i'm just going to glue the sub assembly parts together and then we're going to take those sub assemblies and we're going to put together the entire plug let's go ahead and do that oh yeah let's turn on some music in here it's getting a little quiet a little getting getting a little quiet for my blood Alright, so that's the top side of the plug, and we're going to put together the rear side. Okay, that is that rear sub assembly that we saw in the 3D model. The three layers are put together and that's what we have. So we're done with that piece and now we just have to put um, that outer layer of the side where the wheel well is. Gotta glue it to the side of the core. Then we're gonna start just piecing it together. All right, we have our two sides. And now we can start piecing together our plug. Let's do it. Of 
one piece. You know what? You can put it. You can change this position and put it towards the front. Three D model. Real life. Three D model. Real life. All right, now let's go ahead and put on the top. The top should look like, ta-da. Is everything checking out? It looks like it. It sure does look like it. All right, the last piece. We're just gonna butt it up against the plug and we should be done. And it's going to look like Tess. All right. We'll do this one-handed. We're coming for you. And that is the rear plug done. We're just we're just mocking it up right now. We're gonna have to glue it later, probably after shipping, maybe before. Who knows? That's the rear plug, and let's see if it checks out. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What happened? How did we get that? How did we do that? I didn't design this car. Don't give me credit. I just made the plug for it. But uh, yeah, there, here's another section of the car I can show you. That's the front end. That's also a clamshell. You see the air duct set on the top. All right, so that's the video. And that's how I put together this plug right here. Um, I hope you guys found it entertaining and learned a little bit from it on how these things come together with a 3-axis CNC. Um, not everybody has a 5-axis CNC or even access to it or even uh, the type of budget um, it would take to have someone with a 5-axis that large to machine something like this. And uh, doing it this way is fractions of the cost and results in pretty much the same thing. Um, so if you if you watch this video and you could take something from it, gain a little bit of more skills with uh, what you can do with your CNC machine, um, that's a great thing. I hope you guys liked it, and uh, in the next video, you're gonna see me driving this bad boy around the streets. See you guys later. Peace.